Poppy K and her bookish thoughts Adventures with ogres and astronauts Poppy K and her bookish thoughts Poppy K, subscribe, like, comment and share Second Sabbat of Twelfth Moon, in the city of Weep, a girl fell from the sky. Well, hello. So... This is the beginning of a new reading vlog. I am hopefully going to do a little bit better than I did last week. I am going to be reading Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor. I have had this on my TBR for ever. And I even think I have read a little bit of it. I went on my Goodreads. It says I've read it, but I really don't remember reading it at all. And I think it was when I first started out on Booktube ages ago. Um, I mean, oh, we're talking probably about 10 years ago. Um, was it about 2014? Something like that, anyway. So, in fact, when was this book? When was it published? <laughs> and then I'll tell you. Oh, no, 2017. Okay, then, so not that that long. Well, it is quite a ways away. About five years, six years, seven years, eight years, whatever. Um... <laughs> I can't do maths. So that is what we are reading on this reading vlog. update this time last week or when I was reading that last book Bride by Ali Hazelwood I was 60 pages in this time I am 60 pages in and I am loving this book I cannot wait to, to see what happens it is amazing I love it it's such a good it's it's a good book we're following a young man called Lazo and he is orphaned in the war or in a war and then he goes and is with a load of monks lives with a load of monks and then he is an apprentice at a library basically that's sort of where we've got to so far well there is a prince um and stuff like that but yeah I am absolutely loving this book. Um, yeah, 
so amazing So I have just finished Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor and um, I just literally went on because this is for the, from the library I've got to go tomorrow because I'm going to the dentist so I'm going to take this back and I've just looked on the library and they've got the second book so I'm going to go and get the second book because at first I was a bit meh about it but I then kind of got into it the middle bit I sort of lost lost for self and sort of I can say I didn't really understand what was going on. Um, however, the writing, the writing is so good. Lainey Taylor's writing is superb, but her plot line sometimes can be a little bit hit and miss in this. So I kind of got lost a little bit, but the, the way that it's written anyway sort of helped out a little bit. So I'm just going to read you, if you haven't read it. This book came out in... 2017 I think we established didn't we at the beginning of this vlog and it says the dream chooses the dreamer not the other way around and Laszlo Strange war orphan and junior librarian has always feared that his dream chose poorly since he was five years old he he's been obsessed with the mystic lost city of Weep but it would take someone bolder than he to cross Across half the world in search of it. Then a stunning opportunity presents itself in the person of a hero called the God Slayer and a band of legendary warriors and he has to seize his chance or lose his dream forever. We are following Laszlo who is a young apprentice who was orphaned, I'll take these off now, who was orphaned in the war. Uh, he grew up with monks and then he moved from the um, monastery over to being an apprentice in the library. Uh, they call him strange because he has all these sort of strange feelings, ideas, all this sort of stuff. So he is strange, the dreamer. And as I say he's an apprentice in the library and then we follow him on a few years later when he's an adult and he has always wanted to find out about and learn about a city that at some point in his life he forgot the name of and is now called Weep so he's now compiling all of this literature and things like that on trying to find this city and an opportunity comes up for him to go as we heard in the blurb there with the god slayer to said city and then going on into the book then this girl starts coming into his dreams via moths she has she lives up in weep which to me in my head is up and they're down so <laughs> that's canon in my head so she's up he's down and she is the uh is it muse of nightmares which is actually as it happens the name of the next book and she is 
trying to go like getting into his dreams and things like that and they get to know each other now for me this that sort of aspect of the book reminded me a little bit not fully but reminded me a little bit of day and night in excuse me in the crescent city series it just sort of gave me a little bit of of that sort of vibe it's not but it just kind of gave me a little bit of that sort of vibe and it's because of that that i think the you can actually see like the raw imagination of laney taylor's writing and things like that and i think that's how the imagery that you as a reader create with this book aids with the story because sometimes as i said earlier on the plot line just doesn't doesn't quite cut it so as i say i gave it four stars i do want to see what happens next it is only a duology anyway so i might as well but yeah that was strange the dreamer by laney taylor and as i say i shall be off to the library tomorrow to get the next one so yeah that's it um i'm not sure what i'm gonna read next i've got a couple of other library books as you saw i went to the library as well so um i have got all of us villains uh by amanda foodie and christine lynn herman so i got that one i got the witches of vardo i got the creeper i have is it the twisted tales was it the watchers who's this by am sure i'm sure I'm, there was another one of hers yeah the what the watchers i've read the watchers so i just thought i'd get that um and i also got uh thread needle by carrie thomas so it could possibly be that one i'm not sure yet so you'll find out next week and then obviously i'm going to get strange the dreamer but not strange the dreamer the muse of nightmares so yeah thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed that and uh let me know what you're reading down in the comments below because i i feel like i need i need a little bit of inspiration for some other bits to read i really do think that a house of flame and shadow has put me in quite a bit of a reading slump i say slump um i'm still reading but i just don't feel like i'm enjoying anything at the minute I did enjoy Stranger Dreamer, I must admit, but, you know, it just, things seem to be, I feel like I'm walking through treacle, basically. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, if you've got any books that you've read that you think, yeah, you would like that, let me know in the comments below. I will see you on the next one. You have yourself a great day. Bye! Bye.